Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 3 Reasons Why Robin Brown and Cody Brown's Marriage Won't End in Divorce on Sister Wives in a Few Weeks, Sister Wives Season 19 will debut, and viewers may be in for a slight change of pace. It seems that the final couple in the Brown family is having serious problems in their marriage. Although Robin and Cody Brown appear to be going through a difficult time, neither we nor the fans of the renowned reality TV show find it particularly convincing. It's unlikely that Cody and Robin would split up very soon, despite the latest teaser, suggesting they are thinking about getting a divorce. Three factors support the continuation of Cody and Robin's marriage, in spite of what the teaser portrays as their relationship. The nature of Cody and Robin Brown's marriage makes us doubt that they will get divorced anytime soon. Robin and Cody would find it more difficult to dissolve their union than it was for Cody's previous wives to do the same. Cody and Robin were unable to avoid many legal obstacles, in contrast to Mary, Janelle, and Christine, who left Cody without many. Since Cody legally married Robin, they would need to follow the law to dissolve their relationship. Together, the pair also owns a sizable amount of real estate. If one of them decides they want to end the marriage, things could turn ugly. Although none of them seems to be very driven, we're not saying that the pair can't seek a divorce. Since it would be simpler to remain together than to sort out their financial issues, we believe that they are more inclined to stay married. It doesn't seem likely that Cody and Robin will split up, at least not while Sister Wives is still on the air even if they are fundamentally unhappy together. Robin and Cody held the other wives responsible for their marriage's dissolution, according to Cody. Robin was blatantly arrogant about her capacity to satisfy her partner. Cody argued that since he could make Robin happy, his other wives ought to have been content as well. The pair would have to face their behavior and acknowledge that maybe Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown were correct all along if they decided to split up. We find it hard to believe Cody and Robin would voluntarily concede they don't know the key to a long-lasting, fulfilling marriage. Even though they are unhappy, the couple will stutter along until long after the show concludes. It seems unlikely that Cody and Robin Brown will file for divorce until their youngest child is ready to start college. However, that will be several years in the future. Fans of Sister Wives have only ever seen very selective portions of the Brown family's life throughout the years. Even those brief quotes imply that Robin is Cody's favorite person he's ever met. At least two of his ex-wives, who have a front-row seat, believe Robin and Cody's marriage is destined for success. Christine and Janelle hypothesized that Cody and Robin were a good fit in an interview with E! News. Christine referred to Cody's fourth wife as his genuine love and soulmate. It was indicated by her that even after ten years of their multiple marriages, the couple is still in their honeymoon phase. Although Mary hasn't been as explicit, it appears that she believes Cody escaped with Robin from his previous wives. Who are we to argue with three ladies who shared a home with the couple if they believe their situation will improve? In Sister Wives Season 19, viewers can watch Robin and Cody Brown work out their differences and consider getting a divorce. The first episode airs on September 18th. Is Cody and Robin Brown's Flagstaff Mansion too rich for them? Are Cody and Robin Brown, stars of Sister Wives, too wealthy to maintain their property in Flagstaff, Arizona? Is it, moreover, the reason they are getting a lot more money for their house when they sell it? Is the couple living in poverty since they aren't building on Coyote Pass and there aren't any more wives? For more information, continue reading. After spending close to $900,000 renovating their cherished Flagstaff mansion in 2019, Cody and Robin Brown just offered it for $1.6 million. This is significant since they treasured the house greatly and Cody found solace there during the pandemic. Janelle Brown and Mary Brown, Cody's previous wives, first took it in as a rental. The only spouse that made a purchase from the time they relocated from Vegas to Flagstaff was Christine Brown Woolley. Robin cherished her house, but she was hesitant to buy it because they had already purchased a sizable tract of land called Coyote Pass. The plan was to build houses on CP for Cody and each of his wives, but Robin and Cody needed to move fast, so they made an offer on their house. 
Cody believed that Janelle and Christine, as well as their kids, were breaking his rules when the epidemic struck in 2020. He was thus mostly at Robin's opulent home. Plus, he liked it better than the RV Janelle had bought. Now that he has lost three wives and is just left with Robin, the couple has made the decision to sell their estate. The son says they allegedly can't afford it anymore. Cody and Robin listed their home because it's become a huge expense that they no longer can afford, especially now with the family torn apart, an insider revealed about the couple. They also included information regarding Coyote Pass, which also doesn't seem to be progressing. Christine sold her land to the family for $10 when she departed in 2021, however Cody and Roby Brown still hold the majority. Due to the high cost of construction, they haven't made any progress on Coyote Pass and, naturally, abandoned their plans completely after the wives left. The sister wife's family appears to be prepared to sell, but they still owe back taxes on Coyote Pass. Even though her name is still on the land deed, she mentions being purchased out in the season 19 teaser. This may be the reason behind Cody and Robin Brown's house sale. The Brown family had long relied on the income of Janelle, Mary, and Christine Brown Woolley. Since they are no longer with us, they might desire what is truly theirs. Moreover, Janelle's primary motivation for constructing a top coyote pass was to provide a legacy for her kids. That hasn't taken place. Sister Wives will premiere its 19th season on TLC in September. Even though there will be a lot of drama this season, even more is going on behind the scenes. Cody Brown is no longer a polygamist, having ended three of his four marriages. Most of his ex-wives no longer support polygamy either. However, only one of them is looking for a spiritual separation. Mary Brown is seeking to be unsealed from her former spouse after obtaining a formal divorce. She is currently attempting to sever any communication with him. In order for her husband to marry his fourth wife and adopt her children from a prior marriage, Mary Brown consented to a formal divorce ten years ago. Cody and Mary maintained that they were still spiritually married at the time. They maintained that their marriage could only be genuinely ended by a spiritual divorce authorized by the church. That's what Mary is doing right now. Mary requested a formal release from her previous religion to mark the end of her 32-year marriage, according to an official Sister Wives Season 19 summary. The polygamous church the family formerly belonged to, the Apostolic United Brethren, believes that a marriage ends when the church unseals a couple. To be opened, you must make a request. The wives of Mary's other former sister did not make that decision.